Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again doing a review on the Metro PCS Galaxy A32 5G. I recently got my hands on this phone and I'm very happy about reviewing this phone. And I um, just want to tell you guys that you can get this phone free from Metro PCS when you transfer or port in your number. Either way, how you do it, it's the same thing. Port in your number from a different carrier like Boost Mobile, Cricket Wireless, and you can get this phone for free. And on certain types of plans, you can have a $25 plan for 24 months, which is two years. If you trade in your old device that is eligible and port in your number, and you can get an A32 and only pay for the plan $25, which is really cool. So I end up getting this one not on the plan that I just mentioned, but I end up getting this just with a port in. So we're going to take a good look at this phone. So first of all, let's look at the box. I already took the phone out of the box. And uh, we're going to get into it and see what comes inside the box as well as this. So right here, we just get a plain old, you know, cover white box of that Samsung A32 5G. And then right here, you get uh, inside the box, you get a, charge, a fast charging port right there. And you guys know it's a fast charging port, which is really cool. You get a pin ejection tool right there. And then you get a type C charging cable right there. That's pretty cool. So it's pretty awesome in this little white paper. And then inside here, I believe you just get some manual papers, which I am right. So let's see if we can do that with just the one hand right there. So yeah, so you just get some pamphlets about the terms and conditions of the phone, which is really cool. And uh, some something else is inside here too. Oh, some more quick um, guides right there, which is another goodie if you got the time to read on and about this phone. So it's pretty cool. So now we're, I'm about to bring the elephant in the room, and it is going to be the Samsung a32 right here from Metro PCS. So we're going to pop that on and we're just going to take a good look at some of these things that go on on the phone. So here we go. Okay guys, so right now I had to set my tripod up just to get a good angle at this phone. So getting a good look at this phone, just taking a good look around the phone, let you guys know about it. This is a 6.5 inch screen, a little fingerprint magnet, I got to say. So um, it does have fingerprint sensor right here as equal as the power button. You do get a volume rocker right here. At the bottom, you do get C-type charging, speaker, and a headphone jack with a mic right there. On the other side of it, you do get a pin injection tool to pop out for the SIM card, and it does support SD cards. And you do get another mic at the top. And um, on the other side of this, you get a nice, it seems like a little glass effect, but I think this is just plastic or hard plastic. But you do get a, a try, you do get four different cameras on here. So we're going to get into the specs about this, which is really cool. And uh, we're just going to be talking about this. So you get a bright, uh, a bright screen. It's not AMOLED, I believe it's not, but we're going to check this out. So, like I said, this is a 6.5 inch screen. 720 by 16 megapixel camera. Uh, you, I do get the four gigabytes of RAM and it has a 5,000 milliamp battery. The phone came out in January 13, 2021. And it does have, okay, so it is glass. I'm sorry, guys, I had to get my things right. It has a glass front and, a, uh, I'm sorry, glass front and plastic frame, plastic back on the back. So, yeah, so it's plastic, like I said, I had a, just looking at it. It has a TFT screen and a 6.5 inch screen. Body to ratio is 81 um, by 6, 20, 20 by 9 ratio. It has Android 11. Not sure if it's going to get Android 12, but I am going to um, be looking at that to see if, if it will be coming. And it's running UI 3.1. It, it is a 64 me megapixel camera. Now getting to the back of the camera, we have the 48 megapixel wide camera. We have another 8 megapixel ultra wide. 
we got another five megapixel uh, micro and a two depth camera. And on the front of it, we have a 13 megapixel camera that shoots 1080p at 30 frames, it has loud speakers. It does not have surround sound, which would be kind of cool if it did. It does have NFC with it. And like I said, we do have a fingerprint sensor. It does have face recognition on here. And uh, it does have fast charging. So that is pretty cool, though. So I really do uh, like the phone. It is very, very, uh, it does have a nice screen to it. It does look like it's AMOLED, but it's not AMOLED. Uh, you do get your edge panel right here. If, um, you know, just for a little quick things right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, you, you swipe down and we do got some different types of things. Let me get a close up on that. We got Bluetooth right there, guys. We got mo the mobile data, the flashlight, power saving, screen recording, link to the windows. You got some hotspot. You got smart view. Uh, you got scan QR code, you got Wi-Fi calling, you got dark mode. Now we want to add some more to bring this stuff down. Here's some more stuff that's hidden, like the NFC. We're going to bring that down. You got focus mode, you got kids, uh, you got the calling, you got the kids, like I said. Let me see, bring it, got that. Adobe right there. Oh, let me bring this thing down. Good, okay. Okay, you got this kind of make it look, have some, make space. So you got that, you got syncing, uh, you got live capture on here. Uh, you got Wi-Fi, trying to get some room right there. And you got mobile sharing, and you got syncing right there. So it's pretty cool. So then you bring it all down, you just got a whole lot of stuff that you can work with right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's get into the settings so you guys can see what I'm talking about on here. Um, let's go to the, the, um, what is it? The storage capacity. Now I just downloaded some apps on here. So it's letting you know that it, it, it is a four gigabytes of Ram, but I'm using a 2.2, .2, uh, 53 point gigabytes of 64, but I'm going to be transferring all that to the SD card that I have in here. And then, uh, what else do we got in here? What else do we got in here that I want to tell you guys about? So you got your software. Let me see. Uh, the, so it, the latest software ahead was for um, August 10th, and it brought some new stuff to it. Uh, it says learn more about it, but we can get into that later on, or you know, I can just leave a description down below. Uh, let me show, tell you guys what that it's running Android 11. Let me see information right there. And then here we go right here, guys. Uh, it is rocking um, One UI version 3.1 Android 11 right there, which is really, really cool right there. And just want to let you guys know about this. Um, getting into the camera, it says, let me change it to the SD card. So uh, I like to keep my camera on full. So I just, I just like that right there. But uh, you are able to, let me see. It's a decent camera for 48 megapixel camera. It is decent, pretty nice right there. Um, but you are able to change it by, uh, let me see if I can make that focus. You are able to change it to a, a nine by 16, uh, one by one, 3.4, or the three 48 megapixel camera, make it shoot like that with it. So that's pretty cool right there. But I'll just keep mine on the full. And uh, some more stuff that it has with it when it goes to more is you got AR Doodle, uh, Panagramic, a Pro, Micro, Slow Motion, which is pretty cool. And um, you got the photo, you got the uh, portrait, and you got the fun. Let me see what the fun thing is all about. Hit that right there. It says fun mode using, okay. It says home look by Snapchat. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can find your face, uh, just different types of stuff that you can actually just start doing, which is pretty cool though. And um, here is the front camera. I got all the light. Oh, you know what? Let me get that thing out the way so I can do a better photo. Okay. So right here, I got the light in the way. Let me turn that light off so you guys can see me better in here. Okay. So right now, this is me and um, I'm taking the camera, doing it with the LG Violet. 
but this is me right here. The camera don't seem to be too bad on the front for a 13, but the back of it does, the back of the camera does look pretty nice. Let me see if I can get something that I can just actually focus on. So this, I don't know, giving your opinion on that phone's kind of close. They're all kind of close to each other, but it looks pretty decent. But let me see. But yeah. Um, but again, into it, um, let me see. Let's, let's, um, look at some music on here. Actually, I think I got some music that I can play, but you know what? Let's just do some instrumental back in here. Instrumental. Let's, let's, uh. Let's see how the sound of the other. Okay, let me know it does have one speaker. So, that's, uh, so I don't know if you guys can see the viewing of it, but the viewing of the phone does not look too bad at all. Uh, I'm trying to get this one. I'm trying to get it to focus in on there. So, okay, so yeah, so it, it's not too bad with that. Um, the phone, uh, it's, it seems very smooth, but you know, you never know. So let me get an answer back. Okay. So the phone does seem pretty smooth. It does seem pretty fast pretty nice um I'm trying to see what else i can talk about with this phone um we went over the camera we went over fingerprint sensor okay you know what let's test out the fingerprint sensor so you guys can see how fast this thing is so we're gonna get one two three okay not bad one two three okay this is it, it, it's kind of quick it's pretty quick let me see so you guys see that one more time one two three Okay, so it barely had to touch it up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there's a the Samsung Pay from the bottom right there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to go over my review and talk about the Samsung Galaxy A32 from Metro PCS. Uh, just want to say that this is a pretty nice phone. Uh, like I said, you can get this phone for free. Um, I was wanting to get the Galaxy A52 5G. But really, to tell you the truth, I mean, they do have waterproof cases for this particular phone. And if you can do without the AMOLED display and here and, you know, and another 64 gigabytes of storage because it comes with 100, because the A52 comes with 128 gigabytes of storage and it's waterproof. If you can do without that, then you pretty much got yourself a good deal with a phone because I, you can just slap another waterproof case onto here. And, um, but pretty much you'll be just be getting the same type of phone. I mean, I'm sorry, the camera is 64 megapixels on an A52. So, you know, kind of, if you can deal with, if you can downgrade just a little bit, then this would be the perfect phone for you. And, um, if you just low on money and you just want a free phone, this would definitely be the good phone for you. So this is my review on the Galaxy A32 5G. I definitely do re recommend this. And I got this on Metro PCS. But it is on all major carriers. So um, thank you guys for looking at this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button.